Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, January 2nd, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. And we've got an additional winter storm on the way. So let's talk about yesterday, on Monday. What we're looking at is the reason why we had an additional surge of moisture that moved into Utah, especially in this narrow band right by the canyons and on the backside in Park City where they had up to two to three feet of snow and we really didn't forecast that very well. There was a boundary that moved in along with the jet stream and the two interacted and that we didn't anticipate and that's what produced all of that snow last night. I didn't put a briefing out, I didn't see it, but it occurred and sometimes it's a good idea to talk about things we can learn from it why we didn't do it well in the first place. So let's move forward to today and this is what we're looking at. We've got a high pressure rotating up this way We've also got another high located down here, but the critical part is we've got this low pressure right about here with this moisture just rotating into Utah, and this is going to produce a lot of snow for us on top of what we had in that narrow band already. So let's start with northern Wasatch like we typically do with these briefings. And this area, what we're looking at is Beaver Mountain, Snow Basin, Powder Mountain, and any of the backcountry areas in there. 20 to 30 inches of snow with snow water equivalent of about 2 to 2.5 inches. It's going to start Tuesday night and it's going to end Thursday night. And really that's when this storm is going to occur for all of northern Utah when we go through all the different areas that we do. With the greatest snow intensity at Wednesday morning, peak snowfall rates at 1.5 to 2 inches per hour down to the valley floor. And it's going to be snow densities are going to decrease as that cold air moves in on Thursday as that frontal boundary moves in from the north and the west. We're going to see winds though pretty significant 75 miles an hour out of the west on Wednesday morning roughly around 6 a.m. It's going to ramp up before that starting Tuesday evening and then they're going to taper off after Wednesday morning and you're going to see them west southwest to west and then veering around west northwest as we typically see when you get a low pressure moving in. Central Wasatch front side what we're looking at here is Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, and Solitude. Snow totals again of roughly about 20 to 30 inches. We may see more at some of the more pronounced areas like the, t the favorable areas of Alta or some of the backcountry areas, but nonetheless snow water equivalent of about 1.75 to 2.3 inches. Again it's going to start Tuesday night through Thursday night, 48 hour storm roughly. Greatest snow intensity Wednesday morning at 1 to 2 inches. It's going to be a cold storm relatively so it's going to go down to the valley floor with decreasing snow densities as that front moves in. Again, the winds a little higher uh, in Mount Baldy area. At about Wednesday 6 a.m., we could see 80 mile an hour gusts out of the west with west-southwest leading up to that and then west-northwest. When we look at the backside, and this would be Park City, the Canyons, uh, Sundance, this is what we're going to see. Snow totals of about a foot to two feet. Snow water equivalent 0.8 to 1.7. Again, it's going to start Wednesday, Tuesday night, maybe a little later than what we see on the front side, and then Thursday night. Wednesday morning is most likely our greatest snow intensities. That could actually occur sometime later in the morning, closer to noon, but we'll say Wednesday morning for our effort here. Peak snowfall rates, an inch to two inches down to the valley floors and decreasing snow densities. We're going to see winds about 70 miles an hour out of the west, southwest, and west Wednesday at 6 a.m., maybe even earlier um, during that time. So let's now move to the Uinta Range. And what we're looking at here is Windy Peak. It's really the, the western part of the Uintas with snow totals 18 inches to 28 inches, a little bit more than the Wasatch back, 1.5 to 2.2 on snow water equivalent Tuesday night to Thursday night is when it's going to begin and end. Greatest snow intensity Saturday afternoon into the nighttime hours and the peak snowfall rates at about an inch to 1.5 inches and again we're going to see it down to the valley floor and decreasing snow density. So all in all this is a really good storm with winds with this up to about 75 miles an hour early Wednesday morning again maybe a little later as this is farther east then what you'll see as the, these, uh, the front and all this weather kind of moves in. But it's going to be out of the west, and you'll see a very similar west-southwest to west, west-northwest veering as this storm moves through. So everything's probably a little later on the Uintas than what we saw. 
on the front side. Again, this is Brian McInerney. If you look for Facebook, you can find us there. You can find us on Twitter. You can email me if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like to see on these briefings. And, and I can't emphasize this enough. Now that we're getting more snow and we're getting copious amounts of water with this, the avalanche conditions are evolving as each one of these storms comes in. So if you could please take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center's website, utahavalanchecenter.org. They've got all sorts of good information. They work in the same office with us. They are totally professionals on their game. These are the people you want to talk to and to before you go out into the backcountry. So there you have it. We're doing quite well. Roughly our snowpack is about 120 to 130 percent of median right now after this storm we're going to probably be 130 to 140 percent of median and it's all good let's just hope these storms continue until the next one this is brian mcinerney from the national weather service and i do appreciate taking the time to listen to this see ya